All right, how's it going, everybody? I know it's been a while since I did a video update on my podcast, on Anchor, on just basically everything that's been going on. So my previous video, I had switched from Spotify for Podcasters, formerly Anchor, to a host called Megaphone. And so I used Megaphone for a month, and it seemed like I was going to make more money than actually happened. So I switched back to Spotify for Podcasters. So I've been back for a little while. But I did something different, and I think this will be really helpful. So if you are someone that's starting a new podcast and you want to know what it's like from the beginning when you start something on Spotify for podcasters, this is going to be the video for you because that's exactly what I did. So you're looking at the screen of my new podcast, and this one's called Unlock Your Abundance, and I'll put a link down below if you want to check it out. But this is my new podcast, so you can see that uh, the numbers are relatively low. Um, and let's just get to the chart here. So I started it back in the end of April. So it's been almost a month, uh, exactly a month. And, uh, you know, we started out small, obviously, you know, getting three plays. Now we are doing a little bit better. Uh, the highest day I had was uh, 669 plays. So really growing. Uh, you see the audience size, followers. So the question I get so much is how long does it take to get uh, monetized? And that's why I figured I'd do this video because I haven't been monetized yet. So this has been in existence for 30 days. If I go over to the money tab, there'll be something that, um, so this is connected to my other one. Uh, that's why it shows that money there. Um, I can go to my other one and, and show why that's there, but it's the same Stripe account. So that's why it shows that this is not money that I have made from this one. But I did get a new um, ad. So this is an ambassador ad. And I got this about, it was on the 23rd. So it took me almost 30 days to get this. And, you know, I hit the criteria pretty quickly. So this is the criteria to... Um, get get the um, eligibility for it so that you can receive it. But I received this. And so it looks like what Spotify for Podcasters is doing now is they're going to do their ad on a monthly basis. So you probably have to stay within certain guidelines. I don't know if it's just going to be staying within these guidelines and that you get it or, you know, if there's going to be other criteria. Maybe they'll sample your ad, you know, so that they listen to it, see if the quality is good. I'm not really sure how that's going to work, but it uh, looks like they're going to be doing it monthly. I might main podcast, the Positive Mindset podcast, which I'll switch over to in a minute, you'll see that I got this one too. Now, I already had a regular ambassador ad, so I'm wondering if when June comes, if that one will be deactivated and I'll have to switch it over this one. Um, this one does not pay as much, which I'll show you. It's still great. Like, you know, I don't want to be upset about uh, the money that I do get from it. You know, I'm still appreciative of it because it's more than anyone else does and you don't have to pay to be on Spotify for podcasters, so it's really good. Um, so it took me about a month to get here. Uh, hitting these qualifiers, I think what's going to happen now is when you hit these qualifiers, you'll get invited to do it for a month, and then it'll probably be on a monthly basis to see how it goes. Um, one of the things that I noticed in starting a second podcast is what's really important because you know I've done my first one for three years, and uh, that one gets a lot more listens. You know, it gets over hundred thousand listens a a week. Um, whereas this one, you know, is probably at 2,000 a week. So a big difference in, in listens. But one thing I've learned is that if you can break down your podcast to just the highlights, you know, I know that you probably have a big message that you want to share and there's a lot that you want to talk about. But when you do that and your podcast is 20, 30, 40 minutes long, when someone's never listened to you and they see it, they're going to be less likely to give it a shot and they're going to be judging it very strict because they don't know you. They don't have a relationship with you. You know, there's no benefit of the doubt. There's no like just enjoying something because you say it. You know, they want top tier entertainment, you know, or information, whatever it is. And so this one is short. If you can see my episodes, it's just like my other one. You know, they're around 10 to 12 minutes long. So the short episodes. And I kept it this way and really tried to make the best of what I've done in my previous one. To this one and so one thing that you'll notice is like I'll just pick let me find one that's got you know decent amount of listens so this one's over 500 um, I'm gonna go to analytics on it and I didn't pick this one specifically so I don't know if it's gonna okay yeah so you can see the listen through rate is really high um, you know falls off a little bit in and then I run another uh, like a break that's like when the episode ends and then this is just more of a call to action um, for a product offer so it does tune down but you can see like, you know, the, the tune in is really good because this is essentially the best of what my other podcast is because I make this one as, as strong as can be. So if you're starting out your own podcast, one, if you want to get monetized, it's probably going to take at least 30 days because I was eligible within 24 hours because I do have my other podcast so I could send people over to this one. And that kind of 
boosted it up. The content's not quite the same, so the listener of that may not listen to this, um, but they did for the first one to kind of help me get over the hump. So, you know, it, you're not going to get 100, you know, unique listeners and then get monetized real quick. And besides that, um, if you're only getting 100 downloads, even if it's a week, uh, financially, it's the money you get so little, um, it's not like you should be that concerned about it because you got to be getting, you know, so if for every 1,000 plays that this gets right here, you get fourteen dollars if it was on Spotify, I believe, and then uh, twelve or eleven dollars if it's on like a different platform. So, just for a thousand. So you got to imagine how many it takes to for this to start adding up. Obviously, you know any money is good for when you're doing something that you love, but uh, you know there's that. So I'm gonna switch over to my main podcast because I do want to show you some stuff um, with that. So let me log out real quick. All right, and so we're back into my main podcast. You can see much more downloads here uh, at five point five million downloads. This is down to what it used to be. You know, I get probably more around fourteen to 15,000 plays per episode, and I'll kind of show you why that is. It's, it's really because when I switched back from Megaphone, none of those downloads counted in this number. Uh, it counted on Megaphone, so, you know, it was good for there, but it didn't count here, and so that's, um, you know, a problem. Audience size, this is lower just because the same thing, um, that's accurate. And so you can see, actually, if I go to, if I extend this out, you can see when I went to Megaphone. And I'm actually still dealing with some issues from that, which I can tell you. So this is when I switched over to Megaphone. So none of the numbers came over here. It went over to the other um, software. So people still listened. What's interesting, though, is even though I switched over, you can see that there's days where there's still downloads. And so now I'm running into that same problem here. So if I go over to my Megaphone account, uh, I'm still getting downloads over there. So like this day, maybe it says 16,000. But if I include what it shows on Megaphone, it could be seventeen or 18,000. So there's about, it depends on the day, but it could be a couple hundred to a couple thousand. They're still registering over there, um, which is definitely a problem because uh, that hurts me as far as, you know, the number of total downloads if I'm pitching an advertiser or something, but also on the, on the money here because it doesn't register um, the, the place. And so I don't get as much money for my ambassador ad. So, you know, something to consider there. If you do have a current ambassador ad, this is probably what you're gonna be looking at. So this is my current one. I'm hoping that this one stays. So I'm hoping when June comes along, I can ignore this one and just roll with this one because you know the, it's much higher. You know, sixteen dollars essentially versus fourteen. So that's two dollars for every thousand. Um, doesn't sound like a lot, but when you get a hundred thousand, you know that's a lot of money. A um, hundred thousand dollars a week. Uh, it makes a big difference, right? If so, there's that, and then you know about a dollar difference here. So not a huge problem, but most of my downloads are on Spotify. So two dollars. That's over time. That's going to add up. But you know they got to do what they got to do. This is a high RPM, to be honest. Um, especially since it's just pitching their brand um, versus pitching like a service to sell or something like that. I mean, Spotify for podcasts is free. So with this ad, people don't even like they don't even make money. From it so it's you know not really um you know the roi for them is probably pretty low so either way i'm thankful for it so the money's back on this one if i go over to um, analytics and ads you know you can see that money's coming back in. oh that's impressions this is the money um tab right there it hasn't updated since 24th 27th so it's three days behind um but this is where it matters right because this impressions right here if these are registering on megaphone you know 10 to 20 percent of them that's 10 to 20 percent of uh money i could be missing so i haven't figured out how to fix that yet so you can see when i transferred over there so even when i was transferred i was still making some money over here because not a lot you know pennies to a dollar um but now that's like money i'm not getting and it's going over there and so you know, every dollar matters with that. Um, so that's kind of the update. I started a new podcast. If you have questions about that, you know, drop in the comments below. Um, if you want to, you know, ask specifically about your podcast or do a one-on-one, -on -one, I'm still doing those consultations. If you'd like that, um, you can reach out to me on Instagram. That's the best way. I'll put a link down for that. I can tell you kind of what that process looks like. If you want uh, me to give your podcast a listen and kind of give you some advice and then talk to you about maybe switching platforms or whatever it is, um, that you have questions on, so that's still available for you. And you know, the biggest thing is stick with whatever you're doing. Um, don't give up. I get so many comments where I see people saying like, you know, they started a podcast and then they fell off and now they're starting back. And it's great that you're starting back, but man, imagine if you just never quit, if you just kept moving forward. I mean, this I do five episodes a week on this one, five episodes a week on my other one. Um, it's a lot of work, but financially it's going to be worth it. I think that within, I mean, I don't. 
I guess I don't have any facts to back this up, but just from how the other one's growing, um, the way the trajectory is, it is kind of similar to this one. So it's not, uh, it's not too far fetched. The listener might listen to this one and that one. And so with the growth that's having one, because that's a, a more popular topic, you know, money and wealth and law of attraction and all that stuff. So I think that podcast has um, a lot of room to grow. And then if the people from this come over, that could really make um, some really good income. Because just from this one, if, if both of those did the same, you know, I'd be making probably twelve to $13,000 a month just from the podcast. So that doesn't include uh, the coaching I do. That's like the main thing I sell from the podcast is uh, coaching one-on-one, stuff like that, um, you know, for mindset. And uh, you add that in, which that obviously has like a cap because there's only so many hours in the day. So I can only do so much coaching unless I develop like a, a group or something like that, which I am working on to figure out how that would work. But um, you know, this could be huge between the coaching and these two podcasts easily. This could be 20 K a month, um, which would be tremendous because, you know, I still have other income too. So if you want to create something good, have a vision for what it is that you want to do. Um, your vision can change over time. That's okay. You know, just have a vision and then create a mindset of I'm going to do these things and that you are the person that is going to achieve that and keep that you know, really solid in your mind. And then third, just make sure you're doing daily actions that are in alignment with that. It could be writing scripts for your podcast. It be, could be coming up with thumbnails. It could be coming up with titles. It could be actually recording and creating the podcast. Whatever it is, just constantly do action in alignment with your thought, in alignment with your vision, and it will become a reality. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was, it was I know it was a little sporadic, but hopefully it was just a nice little update. I wanted to do it. I'm going to be upgrading the computer soon. I know I've been saying that for a few months, but I finally... Got some money set aside to where I can, and uh, I uh, will be able to do more videos that it's just easier to edit and stuff. This one freezes up and it's a pain. So, well, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I can't wait to talk to you all next time.